Hey guys, so this is another beginner to improve a lesson that I decided to do. It's a very easy picking pattern. Now, let me just change the camera view so you get a better view for the guitar. Bear with me. Oops, sorry for the drop. <laughs> okay, now I'm sure you can see it nicer. I'll turn also diagonally. Okay, first of all, the right hand pattern. Very simple, it's a 6 8 pattern. You strum the bass with the thumb, then the third string with your index, with your middle finger, the second string, and then the first string with your ring finger. Now, these three fingers are always playing the tremolo strings. That's the last three strings. The thumb sometimes alternates between the bass melody runs or the chord. I'll be getting to that shortly. So, chords, we will be using an E minor, very easy. Guys, if you have any problem with some chords, not only with my videos, basically in any videos, you can just go on Google or on Yahoo and type in the image search, for example, E minor guitar chord. And you will find a lot of diagrams and shapes, sometimes even photos of people holding the chords, and you can get a better idea. Now, this is a very easy chord. It's an E minor and a D major chord. I like to simulate this like a little triangle shape. And lastly, we're going to be using a G chord. Some people might be using it, holding it with three, these three hands and the index free. I like to use it like so, so I can have my little finger free. Now, we're going to start off by playing uh, with the top bass, that's the 6th string. Very easily roll down. Uh, don't take it standard that it's twice or one time. It's a little bit mixture of the song, uh, if I'm not mistaken, his name is Scarbo Fair. And I mixed that up a little bit with the bass runs, the melody, and shorten it out so I can do it in a lesson. So here, what I did before, I played it twice while holding the E minor. Then I changed to the D major. And the only difference to the pattern is that I'm playing the last bass, that's the fourth string, only one time, and then I change fast back to the E minor. Now, the second time I play the pattern, I quote, cut the pattern in half. If a full pattern goes all the way down and up, the second time I just play just the down roll. That gives me the time to play what's coming next, the whistle bass or the melody bass or the running bass, name it any way you like. That's just on the sixth bass, I play open string then I press on the 2nd fret, the 3rd fret. And right after I play that 3rd fret, I shape a G chord. As you can see with my left hand, I'll come a little bit closer. And I have a roll down of the 3 strings with the right hand fingers. So I'll play it one time right through from the beginning of what we taught. E minor. minor, half a pattern, and right after I finish the three tremolo strings with the right hand, I go back to the E major. So that's the first part. Then I stay on the E major, I play one time, fool the pattern, and I repeat once again like before, a half a pattern. Again, I do the roll of the bass. There, I simply, on the G major, I pick the sixth string, and then with the index, I pick the third string. Then I go to an A major, that's a chord I forgot to mention, now, again, you can hold it with three fingers, like so, or just like me with a bar. One more time. One more time. A major. And in the A major, you play 
the full pattern. Okay, so I'll do the last part from the E minor. Half a pattern. And I go back to the E minor. Now, the last little twist and turn that I do there, after I play again a full pattern and a half a pattern, I play once again the whistle bass. That's really easy, it's a roll back of the bass. It's exactly as we did before but in reverse with a, again a small difference every time I pluck the bass with my thumb I also pluck the third string with my index so then I move one fret more up then I go to the open so I can straight away play now in the E minor you're gonna notice you don't actually play the two basses you're holding you cannot have your hand away they roll back as well and you don't even have to use this hand but it's nice to keep a shape sometimes in chords so you have a natural chord progression. Okay, I'll do it one time, a little bit quicker from the beginning. I jump straight away to the D major just one time and then back to the E major and to finish it off I just play the last two strings here the first and the sixth together two times just so I can change my feeling into a more rhythmic that I'm finishing it then I go to natural harmonics on the 12th fret I just, the side of my skin here, of my pinky, I place it right over the 12th metal fret softly without pressing down the strings, just softly over them. And this produces a nice little... Then I strum down the E minor. Now I jumped through it because I really wanted to do this in one lesson. Just rewind the tape. This is a really easy, easy song, guys. Make sure you comment and rate and come and find us on Facebook. We've got hundreds and hundreds of people there. People are posting their videos. We're having a lot of fun all together. And thank you very much all for your support. Make sure you give a visit also to my dance website I just created a few months ago. It's www.x-pressions.biz. That's about my dance. You can also see some of the clips in there that I do performances because guitar is not my job, it's just my hobby, as you know, or some of you you don't know, you're going to know now. That's it, we have no more time left. Take care, God bless. See you on the next one.